Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel, J Dub. How are you? We're at the home of golf. Yeah, we are. At the home Long of time golf. coming. Uh, guys, we're here at the Callaway Tour Trailer, uh, Monday of the Open Championship yeah. week. We're going to walk through it. I'm going to show you the truck. I just became familiar with this truck, but we got some people that are going to show you. This around. is your home from home. This is my home away from home. So this is the Callaway Europe Tour truck. I think this is a truck's like 10 years old. They have a new one coming, I think, next year. So Scott, he's our team up it. here. Scott, Good. Good nice to see you, you buddy. Nice to meet you. Then you got uh, Paul Mox. Uh, one of the main builders nice here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Chen. Nice to meet nice you, to meet you buddy. You, nice right? to meet you. So they have a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool crew out here in, uh, in Europe. It's a kind of a fun, lively bunch. Yeah. The, the UK guys are a little nutty, yeah. so we are. It's, yeah, we, we are. are. Uh, uh, and this is a different week, obviously. Uh, all the tours coming together. Right. You know, a few different faces coming over from the PGA Tour. The boys are obviously, you know, will a couple of times a year see the the guys based on the PGA Tour. So. Uh, it's uh, an all-encompassing week for you boys. Sunday is the official, first official practice day for the Open. Right. So we were actually reasonably busy yesterday, so the guys yeah. either didn't play or missed the cut came over and get right. some extra practice in here and kind of get acclimatised to the place. Yeah. So really, yesterday was about swapping out the bags. So we've obviously got an Open, a major bag, so they were swapping that over. And then really this week is just, uh, it's not as busy as a normal event. Like we were mm -hmm. way busier last week. This one is kind of more like, you're kind of on a more of a time constraint, the players, because the practice ground's over here and it takes yeah. quite a while to get to the first tee. Right. You can't walk out on the golf course because once you go out, you're out until you come back. Yeah. So it's kind of um, just more time sensitive builds, kind of getting it done as quick as possible and you know Completely. as accurately as possible. Are many of them making wholesale changes to bounce or you know flipping out a five wood for a two iron. How much of that are you finding is going on, Paul? Yeah, quite a lot. I mean, we're doing a few uh, driving irons this week. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, we were lucky last week at um, Renaissance, we had Roger Cleaver home, so we launched our new wedge, yeah, so yeah. we're doing some grind. So right. a lot of that is kind of carrying on from that this week, so yeah. more low bounce, introducing some of the different grind options we've got in the yeah. new uh, jaws wall. So um, probably, what do you think, maybe kind of 10 clubs is, is kind of what the guys like to keep as kind of neutral setup, and then there might be, you know, maybe two or three that they maybe change up that are yeah. specialist for the links yeah like dialing in maybe stronger three yeah, woods yeah. or you know driving irons one two That's irons awesome. and then just kind of fine-tuning bounce to match up yeah. with the kind of curf turf conditions that are here love it specific yeah. to the british open that you will see guys go to lower bounce wedges yeah, yeah. yeah. driving irons like maybe at the country club in brookline maybe you might sure. get guys with a stronger lock of three wood but mm -hmm. specifically to the open is when you yeah. see at least the u.s guys will actually yeah. Adjust the bag, put in a driving iron. It doesn't happen as much as you think, but it happens. Yeah, at the open. a fair bit. And right before we came on, Phil was on, and you guys were doing some some little kind of tweaks to, to his stuff. Is he one of the major tinkerers when it comes to these sorts of weeks that he has a very specific setup that he likes to use? Yeah, obviously his short game's legendary. Yeah, so he's yeah. uh, yeah, quite specific on his leading edge, where how right. he likes that, how how he likes the radius yeah. on the leading edge. So really, just tightening that up on here, just on some mm -hmm. of the belts. So. And is he coming in and out? Because we're right on the range here. Is, is he going out and, and taking some stuff, heading out to the range, kind of clipping a few, getting a little feel for through the turf and looking at some numbers and then bringing it back to you guys going, you know, just, just kind of take a little off here, a little off there. Is he yeah. still working at that much? Um, okay. I think no, after today, now he's done. He's That's pretty him. much set. Right? His prep is, is done. Yeah. Yeah. He does it, he does he it, it most like, of the time yeah, on, his, on his own. Anything with a grind wheel, he'll well, he get in amongst yeah, it when, and uh, like, do his own stuff. When you guys were outside, he was actually in here. Wow, grinding on the wheel, yeah, quite literally. Like, he enjoys doing stuff like that. So. Right. I mean, I think when people get access to seeing inside these tour trucks, everyone wants to see the same thing. What's in the drawers? Let's have a little. I'll let, uh, I'll let, I'll let what's monks do that? What's part? this sort of uh, special tour sauce in here, Paul? Well, it's a little bit like a golf kitchen, really. So yeah. Everything, uh, everything's kind of where it should be in, in kind of in order and loft and bottle. Um, so that's kind of the wood section which is all the drivers, <laughs> right? Yeah. With all the wedges, so they're right. all lined up in loft headweights. So the ones with dots are slightly, slightly lighter headweight than a standard headway. Okay. So it goes loft and bounce options all the way through. So everything is kind of quick and easy. So yeah. when we get an order, an order will come through for that's for for fab. So everything in there, we can just I can model the loft, yeah. the shaft length, what is loft and lie is. So we pick it from various drawers around the truck Beautiful. and then at the end of it that's what it should be love it and obviously jaws raw you know brand new launch yep. are many of the guys changing over before this week or have you already done the the work with them to bed in the the specs well wedges can be can be quite a funny clubber sometimes because mm -hmm. a lot of it is kind of aesthetics whether you like straight leading edge sure. or certain bounce yeah but um 
this one, the, the guys are taking to it very quickly. Interesting. Yeah, it's been it's been probably the quickest I've ever experienced players. Is that right? Matches. And what what sort of what about have they said? Is is it the kind of new cleaner look, the straightening of that leading yeah. edge, and, and some of those little tweaks to the yeah, the visual the bounce options? So right. It's, it's been uh, yeah, it's been phenomenal. Well, a lot of it's for like the guys on our on the U.S. tour, the things that these guys would typically do to a wedge. Yeah. They did it on this one. So the straight leading edge, a little bit of bounce up front, that yeah. that that kind of that chunk out of the front edge, high CG, so the weight is higher up top so the yep. ball's coming out low so any little modification or tweak you would do after the fact right. they did it stock in these heads right. so which is one of the reasons I think they didn't have to go through as many yeah. like a big grind skew yep. um, because they've done what they did like the Z grind is kind of like four or five wedges in one right. if you really take a look at yeah, it so yeah. um, that's why the conversion uh, conversion rate's been so good at least in the US tour yeah. It's because it's just it's kind of plug and play. It's like everything you like is already here. It's already in it. Yeah. yeah, love it, Paul. What do we what do we have here? It's kind of test equipment that exists out on the European tour for for obviously testing the specifications of the clubs. Yeah, so it's a CT machine, which um, you know the RNA have got us when they test um, test basically play stick or some ball speed. Yeah, so, uh, we can run the RNA do some specific testing where they'll pull random random players this week and they'll test their driver but yeah. we just have it in here um, so that we can test, test, test the paces yeah. and make sure everything is what it should be. And guys, see, so CT stands for characteristic time, it's the measurement in microseconds of basically the uh, the rebound speed of, of, the, uh, of the golf ball off the face, used to be known as COR, coefficient of restitution, it's now changed and you know it's interesting, they, they do random tests and I think a lot of people don't realise that it can be Xander, couple of you know, couple of great wins, and they, they yeah. might just go, okay, we, we want to run your equipment through a check, and, and they'll come on and, and sort of test it all in here, make sure everything's okay, and uh, it's all it's all within the 257 uh, CT limits yep. and, and all that type of thing. Well, that also kind of goes back to what we talked about on the channel before: the tour heads versus retail heads mm -hmm. um, are heavier and thicker, right? Yes. And one of the reasons why, is so you don't like John Rom. Will play his driver from when he gets it mm -hmm. until it breaks. Yeah. So if it doesn't break, he plays it all year. So by the end of the year, you know he's beating the face in constant. So he gets hotter Absolutely. as it goes. So we start him off slow because of the amount of balls that they yeah. hit. And you don't want crack faces on tour. You don't want any of that stuff. So um, you kind of want to test in the beginning of the year. That's kind of I mean the hope, the secret is you kind of want to test in the beginning of the year because the driver's not sore. But 100%. Um, I can. If you guys want to know, I can take you through all the heads. We've got digital loft, we've got digital live, we've got head weight, yep. you know, all that sort of stuff. So this is a good one because uh, Xander just won the Scottish Open. So this is the Triple Diamond S. Mm -hmm. So it's 440cc Triple Diamond head. It's kind of mimicked after the Epic Speed Triple Diamond. Yep. So it's got the same characteristics. It's got a very neutral CG. Once again, 440ccs. S stands for speed, mm -hmm. smaller head, swing it faster. Yep. Um, with this head, I would say it's the most responsive. Of the tour heads we have, the one that's most easy to shape, that's why right. Xander likes it. Yeah. Uh, if you watched him at all during the Scottish Open, he was cutting it back into a lot of wind sure. and then drawing it back into a lot of wind. Yep. This driver is going to do that more than others. So it gets, I would say, this one spins left to right, right to left easier than the other heads do. Interesting. Interesting. So that's that head. And if you look at these numbers here, yeah. you, know, you have loft, you know, the difference between tour issue equipment, besides like the thick bases, right? But if you go get a fitting from TXG or you go get a fitting from Club Champion or mm -hmm. whatever, you're 85% of the way to a piece of tour equipment. Right. The only difference now on tour is the heads are specifically kind of cherry picked. So yeah. if this is a nine degree head and we yeah. need to get a player that doesn't want to change the face angle, go from nine to eight, mm -hmm. but wants to get you know, a half a degree of loft off, yeah. we can find an eight four head. It says nine, but an eight four head and keep it in a, in a neutral face angle. Right. And that's that's a face angle is a big deal, obviously, and you know that. So, so we have head weight, starting weight before we start messing with these weights back here. Which so, is interesting. I mean, because you've got one there at one eighty nine point uh four. -huh. I mean, yeah. we've got one here at one one ninety four. Uh -huh. So we've got five gram allowance for right. for some hot mail or whatever yeah, someone might you know need. Or and you guys, you guys change around this yeah, more so than this is seven, hot mail. This is seven grams here. We have a one four and seven right. rubber weight that goes in back. So theoretically you can have anywhere from 
just seven grams. Yeah. We also have a plastic cap that goes on the back. If you want no weight in the back. And you want that that sort of uh, the hot melt in there to adjust CG Correct. laterally, so vertically. So like Matthew Healy, for example, on the yeah. US tour mm -hmm. has a plastic cap back there because he would rather have the have it internally weighted right. than externally weighted. So, you know, seven stock, seven grams. Then you have one, four, and seven gram weights that can go in here. There's these little squares that there's like a red, blue, and a green one. Mm -hmm. Then you obviously have this screw that starts at two and yep. it goes all the way up to like 14. Um, so that's the, that's the triple diamond S. And then if you go over here, we have triple diamond. So this is the Sam Burns plays this head. Um, I would say this is the most neutral mid spin, mid launch driver that we carry. This is probably like our uh, kind of our foundational head to yep. the rest of the heads. Yep. Um, it we don't sell it at retail, but it's. Um, the most versatile head. It's the it, for me. It's uh, what I've seen on the U.S. tour is pretty easy to land a lot of guys into this head. It just kind of right. seems to fit into a lot of. Uh, a lot or of even things. that as a starting head right. to allow you if you're going up or down or wherever that might right. be. Right. So if they spin this one too much, then we we'll, I'll show you the LS. Then they go into right. the LS head. Right. And, and what about irons and stuff, J-Dub? I mean, you, do you, would there be many iron sets built on a, on a week like this? Or it says tweaks no, at this point, if you're, isn't if, it? If you're coming to a major championship, and I did a video at the US Open too, if you're looking for irons mm -hmm. and serious driver work at, three, at, a, at a major, yeah. you're like, you're, you're kind of lost in the weeds. Yeah, you're, you're, you're lost, kind of lost in the weeds. Now, to be fair, we will have players that don't see the truck very often. Sure. Amateurs, guys sure. that qualify, that will come on and yeah. get stuff to build and test when they get home. Right. Different deal, but very rarely do you see a guy come in wholesale, swap out their bag. Yeah. Unless their clubs didn't show up, yeah. but, I mean, which happens. But yeah, you're not normally in for a great week if you're on here building 14 new sticks. No. On the Monday of the the tournament, you got problems. A head I get a lot of questions about, which is the Max LST mm -hmm. head, which I've you know, showed you at the shop before. Yeah. So this head is just like the retail. Max LS, except it has uh, face progression, or I, I call it onset, mm. where the leading edge will sit a little bit ahead of the hosel. Right. And what that does is it just creates a more of a right start line. Yep. So if it says nine degrees here, to compensate for the onset, you have to add 0.75 degrees of loft mm -hmm. to get it to actually perform at nine degrees, right? right? right. So this is for. There's another company out there that's got a very stable driver. I'm not going to say the name, but mm -hmm. it's a very popular driver on tour that has uh, the head stability that this does. We have a lot of players that um, kind of like that look and like that feel. This head's sort of similar to that one, right. but it gives the drawers a nice right start line. Mm -hmm. um, and the guys that cut it that don't like to start at way left and like to start it a little closer to the center line, this is a yeah. good head for them too. We're talking about nuances and, and, and you know Sorry. less than degrees of, of tolerance okay. for the guys who are trying to shift start lines and things like that. And, and the reason for that is because they are that precise. Yeah. And, and they are that good when they're when they're on. That they, they can pick out, you know, those those start line shapes and you know just dialing it in a little bit more for them. Well, besides the look, besides like the optics of it when they set it down, um, start line's the first thing that they'll see. So mm -hmm. every player on the tour, or any yeah. tour, they hit a ball, they're going to look up at a certain window. A certain window. If they, the if they don't see it going there. Right. Yeah. And if it, at that point it's got to start out of that window and then it's got to fall and land yeah. in another window. Right. Right. And the only way you can mimic that is with start line, with you know lie angle mm -hmm. and then the base angle. So that's why we have so many different kinds of heads right. to complement different shot shapes. And obviously we've got three different cogs. We've got the neutral uh, cog, we've got red, we've got red and, and green. And neutral, yeah. yeah, the green one doesn't get used all that often. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you have guys like uh, uh, that want to go way down and loft. Sometimes they'll put it on just for a face angle. Yep. Uh, thing, like, just how they like, like it to Banter, sit. For example, yeah. has, likes the way the green cog sits as opposed to like the neutral cog. Right, right. And then we have a flat cog um, that's very popular out on tour because of that right start line I was talking about. Yeah. So on tour, lie angle with the driver is primarily for start line. It's got mm -hmm. nothing else because the club doesn't interact with the ground. It's all about start line. 100%. Um, so players that like a right start line, the guys like Kisner like to turn it over yeah. and need it to start right, they'll get yeah. a flat cog. Right, right. Interesting. Um, so let me show you the. Uh, the Iron George really quick. We have, you know, 2018 MB, so like uh, Eric Van Ruyen plays those. Actually, mm -hmm. quite a few guys still play that head. Uh, X4s, cool thing about tours, you can get raw heads. Yep. Um, all the gear heads kind of love the raw heads. Uh, so as you can see, TCB's primarily like our, our main tour iron app. Yep. Um, the US tour anyway, so that's Sam Burns, Andrew, John Lom all play that head. I have a sneaking suspicion that this iron won't change much mm -hmm. in the coming launches, like it'll kind of be stay the same. So John Rom, for example, 
plays irons for a long time, mm-hmm. but when they send him a new set home, it's exactly what he's playing right now. Right, so it's it's right. not like he's got to go and work into them. They're they're already ready. They're to be dialed. Going. This is the Apex Pro Double Dot, which is kind of the older brother or father of the TCB. It's mm-hmm. the first kind of inspiration they developed that was Xander Shoffley. So the shape, certain aspects of the shape of the Apex Pro Double Dot kind of bled into the TCB. So Sam Burns, once again, Xander Shoffley all play double dots. Right. They went into TCBs, no problem. The difference is the CG on the TCBs is a little bit more precise, a little mm-hmm. bit more towards the middle of the head. So. The instant improvement when they went into the TCB, yeah, because the spurgeon gets a little tighter, spin control gets a little bit better, um, so that's why that. And we'll have some older heads too. Sometimes you'll see like some random X Forge heads from some of the players that still play some of the older heads. They'll keep them on the truck just in case. Um, so that's the iron drawer. A ton of dollars and shafts here. So any any manufacturer you can think of, Fujikura, Mitsubishi, Dynamic Gold, uh, Project X, everything is either on that wall or in those drawers mm-hmm. here. So. All the gearheads kind of love the, where all the shafts yeah, are. Yeah, they want to come just, in and pull them out, see what's new, what's fresh. Yeah, any shaft that's not at market usually hits the tour probably two to three months before it hits the market. Mm-hmm. Um, some shafts, there's a longer lead in time, but like anything you can think of, they have. Also on tour, you might get heavier weights. You might sure. get your random 9X, 9TX, 10X, yep. um, just because some of these guys need the extra weight. We're lucky. I mean, obviously this week is going to be, it's a special week, and it's not going to be spoiled by, by any... Uh, inclement weather, it's going to be a beautiful week. Uh, the course looks unbelievable. Have you yeah, walked it yet? I'm going to walk it this afternoon, yeah. and like, what's going to make it tough for the people watching on TV is they're not going to water it a whole lot. So nope. the ball's going to, it's going to be, they're going to defend it with no water, basically. I mean, there are some green parts in the low line areas on the fairways. Those are going to disappear over yeah. the next couple of days yeah. uh, as the guys kind of keep trimming, keep trimming, and it's going to be hot and uh, probably breezy come the weekend yeah it should i mean uh, like yesterday sunday afternoon i was playing 17 and 18 we're playing a little bit down and right to left and mark leishman hit a pin high on 17 and drove 18 with an iron which that's is just, insane and he hits me he, he hits a u.s uh an open championship yeah. ball he hits it like that so. he's got the he's got the aussie flight that yeah he was uh, they know how to do place. it yeah. so but anyway that's the truck man that's the truck well, guys i mean this is a real special week uh it's a treat for us to be able to come and do this with the guys and get a little look behind the scenes at how these best players in the world prepare for for major championships yeah. it's always a special one as, as a brit um it's always a special one because it's our only major yeah. right so you get the other three that are across the pond but this is this is when the chance to play host and that you want to obviously represent well and, and when you see all the players coming over and all the other reps right. you want to do a good job so it's it's good to see all yeah the it's fun faces. for me too like i get to see our, my the euro guys yeah and I'm, Falling in love with this crew. And exactly. It's, like, it's, it's a blast. We so love it. We time. love it. Well, thanks, pal. Yes, thanks sir. for having us on. Yeah. As always, we'll be back together on the other side of the pond. We'll I'm sure in a couple yeah. of weeks. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We'll see you again soon.